In this video, we're going to create an NFT in-game using our in-game marketplace. So what you're going to need to do here is um, have a sample scene um, open, and we're going to go into the Web3 Unity prefabs and then Minter, and I'm going to go into the Web Wallet, and I'm going to use the uh, Web Wallet 1155 Minter, and you'll see that we have one for uh, 721 and then there's like buy item uh, get voucher and there's some other prefabs that aid you in the marketplace creation process but for this particular video we're just going to uh, create an NFT um, and, a, and it's specifically 1155 so let's drag and drop this in and you can see here that we already have a button configured for you and inside here we can just select the mint 1155 itself and then you'll see here that we have, you know, a script that is associated with it. So some of the main components that you're going to need to have configured are, of course, you know, the chain that you're working with. Um, in this particular uh, instance, we're using Ethereum and the network is Gorly. We have the uh, CID of the 1155 that we're going to uh, mint, the chain ID, um, which is uh, Gorly, and the type. Um, which is specific to the actual Minter itself. Um, on the start, we just get uh, from the uh, player press, we get the account that's going to be associated to. So in this particular example, the account that's signed in is going to send a NFT to themselves. And then I have we have this uh, Mint NFT 1155 um, convenience method uh, configured for you, which just calls the class method for the create Mint passing in the values that we have configured above. And I have some you know, debug information. And then we just call a transaction, passing in the chain ID and the respective properties that we're getting from our response object. Now, you'll notice here that we're going to be using the Web3 wallet. And the, the prior videos, we actually showed you how to use WebGL. And we also have Web Wallet, which is used for desktop and mobile. So um, we're just going to, I'm just showing you this as a precursor so you can, you know, choose which one is the best for you and all the you know, prior things that you've learned before are, will, will definitely just work. Okay. So I'm going to uh, close that down. And the one, another thing that we're going to need to do here is inside of our scenes, we're going to need the web login. So I'll save this. And also, it's a good idea always to have, you know, your wallet um, as the, the, the first scene, and then you'll see the sample scene here. And when you're doing it with this and you're in the editor, it doesn't matter if you're configured for you know, PC or WebGL, um, they both work um, comparison when you're inside the editor. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on play. And I'm going to remove the remember me check mark, and then we'll just click on uh, login. And here we will sign this transaction. We will copy this to the clipboard, and then this will navigate us to the next scene, which is the Mint NFT 1155. And we will just select the Mint 1155. And this will pop up. And then we'll see here that we have the mint. And then I'll just confirm this mint. And then I will copy this uh, transaction hash. And what we can do here is I'm just going to go to Borley testnet. Just got confirmation that it went through. And here's the Etherscan, and then I can just paste in that transaction hash. And then you can see here that it uh, minted out an NFT. And that's how easy and simple it is to use and create uh, an NFT inside the Chainsafe Gaming SDK. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.